Hello everyone, Press to Play here once again. This is day number 23 of Beatles Month, in which every day I'm going to try to post a uh, Beatles-related item. And today we're going to look at the Ringo Rocks, 30 years of the All-Stars from 1989 to 2019. But before I get into that, um, I just wanted to thank my subscribers for hanging out with me, especially during Beatles Month and for coming back to check out my Beatles collection. It's been a lot of fun to do this. Um, in case you didn't know, uh, on my channel, under the playlists, I do have a Beatles playlist. And I think I have over 100 videos now of my, of, of my Beatles collection. So if you want to see more of what I have, you can go check that out. Um, and if you're new to my channel and if you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you click the bell, you'll be notified when I post new videos and all that stuff. But anyway, I wanted to talk about this book. I haven't opened it yet. It's still in the shrink wrap. I want to give a shout out to Julian's Auctions too, because I live in Canada, they're in the UK. And if I ordered something today, I will probably get it tomorrow at the very latest two days. Like they are so fast with their shipping and they package their items extremely well. So a big thank you to Julian's Auctions. You did a, you're doing a remarkable job. Um, I also have Ringo's other book. I think it's called Beats and Threads. So if you want to check that out, a link should magically appear at any moment. If you click on that, you can go check it out. Now, these come in different editions. I don't know what the difference is between the Platinum. I have the Platinum edition and the Standard. Um, besides, you get a bookmark in the Platinum edition. The cover looks a little different. Um, you can also get a signed edition where Ringo signs the book. They may be sold out for this one, but I know uh, Beats and Threads, I think you can still buy it, but they're very expensive, just to warn you. That's why I didn't get the signed edition. Um, but this is looks like an amazing book. As you can see, I haven't looked yet. I saw Ringo back in 1989. That was the first time I saw a Beatle live in concert. And I will never forget it. It was at Pine Knob Music Theater in Detroit, Michigan. And uh, that's when he had Levon Helm from the band, Rick Danko, Garth Hudson, all from the band. He had Clarence Clemens in there. Um, who else did he have? Uh, Billy Preston played with him on that tour, Dr. John. It was a phenomenal band he had, especially for the 1989 tour. And uh, I'll never forget that moment when he ran out on stage and it was the first time I saw a Beatle live. And hearing him start off with it Don't Come Easy and hearing that unique Ringo voice, it, I was starstruck. I was totally an out-of-body experience. I'll never forget it, that wow, it's a Beatle, right in front of me singing. Um, it don't come easy. It was it was a real rush. Anyway, but I'll never forget that concert. It was absolutely spectacular. Um, I think one of the best All Star bands have he's had. Um, I love his current one. I love all of them, but that by far was I think one of the best. Anyway, let's get into it. This comes with the as you can see a little bookmark. And uh, enough talking. I just want to get right into the book. I'm kind of excited to see what this is going to look like if I can open it. There it goes. So brand new, even smells new. These books are really nice, by the way. Really, really, really nice. Comes with kind of like a yeah, glossy back to it. Glossy, it's a glossy cover, very shiny. And uh, I'll show you what the book looks. Oh, very nice. This is all embossed on here. Ringo Starr, Platinum Edition, very fancy smancy. There's the side. Wow, that's... Uh, that's nice. I like it. So let's take a look at the book here. I'm just going to slide this over a little bit. There's Clarence. So I'm assuming it goes through Dr. John. That's what I was just talking about. What a band. Yeah, Jim Keltner on drums on that tour. Just what a phenomenal band. Joe Walsh. That's right. I forgot. What a band. I, I'm, I'm blown away again. Dr. John, Joe Walsh, three members from the band. Billy Preston, Jim Keltner, Niels from Springsteen's band on lead guitar, Lisa Levon. What an amazing uh, lineup that was back then. Just incredible. I saw the band perform in Windsor, Ontario, without Robbie Robertson, of course, but front row, I'll never forget that either. I'm looking for a table of contents here. I don't see one. I guess it just goes through the band. Okay, so it goes through chronologically. I'll just kind of give you a glimpse of what this is like. 
Look at these nice photos here. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 2015. Yeah, it goes through year by year. And the different lineups that he had. Very, very, very cool. Nice, beautiful photos here, too. Look at that. Wow. A lot of color photographs. Yeah, I'd say it's mostly just photos. A big photo book of all the different shows with a little bit of information about the lineup and the tour. Jack Nicholson. Anyway, wow. Beautiful photos too, right? 1995 right up to the end. Don't want to show too much of the book. I want to be respectful of uh, the publisher, but yeah, it looks... What's he saying there? I don't know what that guy was saying. He was saying something to him. Oh, well, I'll have to go back and look. That's cool. Anyway, beautiful book. Again, by Julian's Auctions, 30 Years of the All-Stars, 89 to 2019. Again, this is the Platinum Edition. And again, I don't know if there's any um, difference in content between the different editions. I'm assuming not. It's just the way it looks, but pretty nice. That's all I got to say. So anyways, I'm going to go grab, I'm going to go make some coffee, sit down and enjoy the book. First time I've opened it. Anyway, if you're enjoying the content again, please don't forget to subscribe. I hope you're having a lot of fun like I am. I'm really enjoying this. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow for day number 24. I'm losing count. I think it's 24, a Beatles month. Anyway, take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.